Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Skyblock Survival. This is your host Akari here. To start this episode, I AFK'd overnight. I just let my computer run for a bit while I was in this little box here to keep me safe. And now it's time to check on the cauldrons to see if they filled up. Hopefully it rained a few times and that caused them to fill up with water. And that's great, we have two full cauldrons here. And with that, we can make an infinite water source. And this means now that we can create a bucket and we can go ahead and grab all of that water from these cauldrons. And <laughs> advancement made water. <laughs> now, rather than just building a two by two square of water, uh, that would totally work. But I'm thinking we can make a little bit of a pond so we can use it for fishing as well. After grabbing the second water from the cauldron, we're able to then make our infinite source and fill up this pond. Now that we have a pond, I crafted a fishing rod and now we can fish for some food and enchanted items as well. And we just got the achievement, fishy business. Nice. And just to double check, I looked at the wiki to make sure that the pond is big enough for any treasure to spawn and I need two block distance to any of the edges from the bobber. So that's why I'm making the pond a little bit bigger. All right, so now I have a much bigger pond for fishing. So I'm thinking I'll just fish until the next day and see what I can get. So from all the fishing I did, I was able to get 15 cod, 7 salmon, 2 puffer fish, and this enchanted book. So I don't think this is super helpful yet. Wouldn't really be worth it for wooden tools, but um, it's a start and we can fish a little bit more later. So anyways, fishing aside, the real importance of this water is we get to make a drowned farm and that's going to give us copper. So that's the goal for this episode is we're going to have some copper by the end and that'll give us the ability to get to make lightning rods and stuff like that. And um, I think that'll play out uh, really well for next episodes. So to plan out our farm, here we are in the creative testing world. Here's the spot where we previously had the foxes. So I'm just looking for a good river that's nearby. And according to Chunk Base, the nearest river that's uh, a little bit wider is going to be at around x negative 500. And yeah, here we go. It's a river. You can see that's actually still visible in the distance. And I do give myself a starting place. So I'm just going to plot out this river real quick and we can see how big it is. Anyway, so this is a rough outline of how big the river is. So I think. This is way bigger than what we would need. But what I can do with this knowledge is I can actually look for a smaller spot on the map that's a little bit closer to everything else. And according to the map, a closer one is around negative 200, negative 29. So let's check that place out. Perfect. So I realized I didn't give you a chance to copy down the command the, origin the first time. So here it is. And uh, this will just place the slabs underneath us as we walk around, and that's kind of fun. So I've mapped out this one, and we have almost like a C shape uh, where the river's wide, and I think this area right in here is going to be absolutely perfect for our farm. Yeah, we'll easily have space for a 20 by 20 area, which is pretty huge. All right, so now we have a 21 by 21 pool of water, um, and that is the dimension on the inside so yeah the 21 by 21 of water with a border around it and then I think if I do time set night and I step 24 blocks away we should start seeing some drowned I'll be honest I can't see a thing in that much better hmm that's weird I'm not still seeing anything spawning in uh, maybe if I set it to midnight that'll help does it need to actually be like completely dark there? Maybe I do need to set a roof. Well, that's 
a lot of glow squid and a lot of bats, but no drowned so far. I thought drowned would be spawning in this. Am I building this at the wrong height? Okay, so I added a whole bunch more layers. Let's see if this helps. <laughs> the difficulty was peaceful the whole time. <laughs> oh, okay, this is why I need to check those things first. Oh, and I obviously forgot about the edges, but it does look like the drowned are spawning in here. So that's a good sign. So drowned are spawning. They're kind of bobbing up and down. They sink down a day, even though they won't be burning because uh, there's a roof over it. Okay, that makes sense. And now we can design a proper farm based on uh, them sinking down during the day. So now I'm just testing some stuff out. I was thinking I could push them with water, but it's looking like drowns don't actually get pushed by moving water at all. It doesn't seem like they're moving at all. But like a regular zombie would get pushed. Yeah. I guess because they can swim in water, that, that makes sense, kind of. Hmm. So I, I think I'll have to rethink the design because I was thinking just pushing all the drown towards the middle. But that's not going to work in a situation like this. So, so far I'm having a little bit of challenges with the drown because they don't get pushed by water. Of course. Uh... What? They want to go to water? Now they get pushed by water? Okay, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, so this guy can see water. They want to be, oh, they want to be in the water in the day. So if I can make something that they actually can't get to the water, but they see water. Now there's the water there. The pathfind, right? What? Oh, nice. So I can trick them with that. I wonder if I make the water bigger if they'll try to get there faster. So now I've made it quite a bit bigger. I wonder if, oh, forgot to change it. Change the difficulty. So it is daytime. It looks like they all pretty quickly try to go right to the, the water. So now for sure they can't get into the water, but are they still gonna try for it? It looks like they do. Perfect. And then just as a little precaution for the babies, can I make this completely filled in? All right, so now I've built up a big, a uh, fairly big structure here. So there's the different layers. So there's two layers of water, then a layer of signs. Hopefully the drown spawn in, in this. Uh, though I think I have to get a little further away. Well, so what would happen if a drown did spawn it? So they sink through because it's a day. And then they head... Where are they going? They just wander around. This is not looking so good. So now I just moved the water up one and I'm actually using fence gates instead just because it was easier to work with the commands but it seems like this is working I do have some water over here but even when I spawn a whole bunch in they still all go straight for the water that's within reach so I should be good to fill in this whole layer and see what happens from there all right and so now I added um, three layers of water on top of these trap doors here and then there's two layers of air and it looks like it's mostly working if I just chill right down here at the bottom you can see that drown do slowly fall down it's not the fastest process but it does seem to be working so now I think I'm ready to just build this on the survival world though I might make some more layers when I do it there all right so here we are back in my survival world and I did some math to see how much materials I'm going to need and I'm going to need if every single one of these was a full stack uh, that's how much wood 
stuff I'm going to need. And then same thing here. So we are in for a grinding session to get all of those materials that we need. So now we have all of the materials that we need. All right, so I just checked the coordinates in the creative world and mapped it up to the same coordinates in this one. And it is a little further from our uh, farm than I thought it would be. But uh, this gives us the full 20 by 20 area of the farm. And uh, I marked out the center point so it would be easy to build up from there. All right, so I've gathered all the materials that I need. I have an infinite water source set up and a bed over here. And all the stuff is in the chests over here. So I am good to get started. Sweet, so now that the farm is done, this is actually a really exciting moment for me because I've never actually built a drowned farm before. I usually just would uh, find uh, the ocean and just kind of wade in with a sword. Um, usually did not end up very well, especially for the ones with tridents. But uh, anyways, as you could probably hear, there's an absolute ton of them here. And... Aquaman's nemesis, kill a drown for copper. So speaking of which, I wonder how far we're getting along in our skyblock advancements or where it's taken us. So we got a kill a drown for copper. So it wants me to use a lightning rod to convert the pigs, but I think I'll use that lightning rod next episode to convert some witches into villagers directly. I beg to disagree with this one for sure, <laughs> in case you haven't watched the last episode. Definitely easier to do Enderman. Anyways, um, it is time to get some copper. And wow, is, is it really that easy? There's a lot of these guys. Three ingots already? Wow, this farm is a lot more efficient than what I made in uh, the creative world. And with that, we can make a lightning rod. That is super exciting. Storm Tamer. Whoa, so I just got my first trident. Uh... Oh, wow, this, this is pretty cool. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. This world's really starting to come together. To think it all started with just some grass and a single tree is pretty amazing. I'm really excited to get to start using this, this lightning rod. And I think next episode we'll build a witch farm. So anyways, with that, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.